Well, good afternoon. Welcome to Springfield, Oregon. We're at Elements Health Club, uh, one of three that they have in the area. This was the Springfield branch. There's also one in West Eugene. They used to be court sports. Now they're Elements Health Clubs. And Oakway Center is also in the Elements Health um, my wife and I go to this gym, so we're pretty dang excited because we're opening up. Oh my God. So um, it's going to be different though. Uh, like any gym in town, health club, there's going to be some changes. One of the changes here at Elements in Springfield, Eugene and Oakway, there will no longer be food served, uh, no beer, no wine. So no, they'll have bottled water, but here to tell us all the expert stuff. Hold on, I'm going to get you over here. Tell them who you are. I'm Laura, and I'm one of the operations managers for the company. So this is quite the ordeal. It's been the ordeal. It's been a little crazy. So trying to get three clubs opened, and once we got the go-ahead from the governor to start opening and doing some stuff, it's been all hands on deck trying to get it done. So cleaning, you guys have been in here with crews, like Lysoling everything. Everything. We've done Lysol cleaning. We bought these, um, they're called defoggers. They're like little backpack things you run through and you defog them. A lot of the casinos are going to be using them. So we've done those. So we'll be able to defog the rooms. Um, it's not a sticky or oil or slippery base. So it'll, it'll clean, it'll sanitize, it kills SARS, it kills the COVID-19, um, and it'll keep everybody safe. How often is that going to happen then? So it's going to happen all, the, all day long. So um, once we open, we're going to close every day that we're open from between 1 and 2, and we'll go through and fog the entire club. Uh, they'll be doing it throughout the day when rooms are empty. Um, after every Group X class, they will fog the entire room, uh, but we'll be fogging every room as we go throughout throughout the day. So you guys, we also at the gym here, we have a lap pool and a swimming pool and a therapy tub. Those will not be opening right away because that's not even legal yet. It's not, and um, we're gonna set up kind of our own phases as we go, phase one, phase two, phase three, maybe even a phase four, and we'll phase in more things as we get to that point. But right now we are not allowed to have any of our wet areas of the pools, the saunas, the steam rooms, or uh, uh, hot tubs. And showers, so and people showers. will not be able to shower here. No showers, you'll be able to use the restrooms. Uh, the locker rooms will be allowed for restrooms only. There's no lockers, you can't lose lockers, you can't use the sinks, you can't use anything past the actual restroom areas. So signage, I noticed there's, I mean, there are signs everywhere. <laughs> so there are, there's gonna be signs on the wall to kind of remind people what to do, how to take care. Um, the staff, when they come in, will be wearing masks. Masks and gloves will be required by our staff. We're not requiring them for the members to wear them. Uh, Group X instructors will have to wear them when they're not teaching a class, but when they're teaching a class, they can take off the masks. Um, but other than that, we won't require from the members, but just our staff. So let's go look in the cardio room. Um, so you guys, they've also made some changes. And th so people were going to be limited to one hour, right? One hour. We're asking everybody to just keep to a one hour workout so everybody can get in and do the workouts that they want to do. Yes. And you guys, let me show you how this works. So if you get that door for me, Laura, then we'll come in here. So here, like, here's the room. So rather than moving equipment out, what they do is they marked. Okay. So you guys, I'm going to show you from out here because we have a bad signal in that room. But as you can see, see the sign on the machine. In fact, Laura, I'm going to put my foot here. Go sh both point it out. So see that, that, that piece of equipment you can use, and then there's two that you can't, and then the next one down. So every other machine, or that, in this case, every two machines, uh, those will be able to be used. And that's to keep people at distance from each other and to make sure that everybody's safe. And, um, and then people are going to be required to wipe down their machines before you get on and after. And after you get off, absolutely. And you're going to have monitors. We're going to have floor monitors walking the clubs, making sure that they help. They, if you need help cleaning equipment, they'll help you. But to make sure that everybody's following the new processes and the new rules, yes. Okay, so let's see if we can get a signal from upstairs. You guys, we're at Elements Health Club. In fact, you know what? Let's go down to the, we're going to see if we can get into the jiu-jitsu. So we have a jiu-jitsu studio here. And we have, we have, we have um, court sports. We have... We have all the racquetball courts. We have the jujitsu. We have uh, the kids' karate classes that we have. We have um, our ECT classes, which is uh, group training classes um, that we put into our basketball court. Uh, you'll see the room. It's absolutely so amazing. So, you guys, so cor the courts will be open, but it only two people at a time. 
Correct, yes, and it's a first come, first serve. So if they're full, they're full. There'll be no chairs outside to sit and watch or wait. Uh, there's also no gym bags on the floor, so you just get to come in with, you know, your scan tag and leave everything else in the car. Okay, so let's go look in here. So this is the big gym, and I did check it is open. So this is um, the jujitsu studio and elements, and uh, they do a lot of really cool kind of stuff here, but a lot of it is... Jiu-Jitsu is body contact, and so you guys check this out. I think this is pretty cool. <laughs> so they've got these little outfit, these little things, and they're going to stuff these, and this is what the guys and girls will be wrestling with and doing their skills with on junior and junior senior. So they'll fill these up with T-shirts or sand or whatever, and then this is what you will do your jujitsu. jitsu that, that is so creative. And then and we'll be doing we'll be doing the boxing classes. It'd be one person per bag, but it'll be every other bag. Each person will be responsible for cleaning their own bag before and after um, the class is done. So, and we got to show them what Rob's been working on. Oh yeah, definitely. Because you guys, so Rob is really the the jujitsu guy, and so they're making some changes. You know how everybody's in, innovating, and so he's been in here painting, uh, creating this really cool wall. And this is going to be the neatest little studio when it's all done. So it's given us an opportunity to do some really different things. Uh, absolutely. The time down has been, you know, hard, but it's been definitely something we've been able to get in and do some things that we've been wanting to do for quite some time. But it's also not going to stop just be when June 1st opens. We still have a lot more to continue to do and to uh, change and get ready. So you guys, we're also going to take you upstairs because there's going to be, in terms of the, the cardio rooms and stuff like that, people will be, they'll be marked off for in classes. Classes are not going to start here until... They're going to start on, on June 1st with everybody else, but it's going to be just maybe a couple of classes a day. Um, and then our goal is to add more and more and more and get really maybe up to more classes by June 15th, but it won't be to what we had before because there's just not enough time in the day to do the classes, fog the rooms, clean the rooms, and have 25 classes in a day. So you guys, again, those of you just tuning in, they're going to have a fogging that goes on here where it actually kills the COVID and uh, any other kind of germs that are in here. Um, there'll be rooms that'll be closed for a while because uh, they're small rooms. And then in here, uh, there'll be monitors in here making sure that people are abiding by the six foot rule and staying away. And then when you go to a Group X class like this down here where I do my spin class, um, there will be marked off on the floor um, where people will be and only a certain number of people will be allowed in here at a time. Yes, if six feet apart, well, they'll mark it off in boxes and that will be as many people that can come in. So people will sign up an hour before class. So uh, you can come in an hour before class and you can get a card. Um, that will have so many cards for that class. Um, once the cards are gone, no more people are allowed in the class. But you can get the card as early as an hour before. But other than that, it's a first come, first serve. There's no reservations or anything of that realm. So it's going to take a lot of, and I'm sure this is happening at every gym in town, oh, yeah. a lot of patience because we're all used to doing our own thing. Exactly. Doing it and, you know, doing your own thing is the speed that you want. So this is going to definitely slow us down because it's going to be a learning curve for us too, you know, trying to figure out what works and what doesn't. You know, we're flying, you know, blind kind of like everybody else is to some point, you know, so something that we think might be a great idea is not such a great idea and we have to change it. But that's just going to be a process. Right. So the main thing is we're getting open. Um, people will be able to get back into the gym and do some things. Patience is going to be required. Definitely patience is going to be required. And, you know, advice and help. You know, we're going to really lean on the members to, you know, clean before, clean after. You know, that just helps you and the next person and the next person. You know, the last thing you want to do is unbend the curve and, you know, we're back closed again. Right. And how do you ta tell people that, you know, because there's going to be some <clears throat> who are going to be very uncomfortable and not want to come in because they think, you know, this is a place where germs are and that kind of thing. Um, come back at your own speed come back at your own speed come back and come and try it come and just walk the club and see you know don't think oh I can't go come see if you're worried come check it out and then make your decision from there but don't assume that it's going to be bad until you come see so in terms of this has been pretty tough on gyms hasn't it it's financially been financially I mean so many gyms have gone under you know even big chain gyms I mean have gone under because of it's just it's not sustainable you know, and even opening at this level is going to be, you know, it's tough. You know, it's not, oh, everybody's back and it's great. You know, it's, it's going to be a tough one. Right.
But we've, we've withstand it. We've come together as a company. Um, we've made some great changes. I mean, we've got, I've got owners and clubs today that are scrubbing baseboards. You know, I mean, it's all hands on deck to get these places up and running to, you know, back to, and better than they were even before, you right. know, with new ideas. Some <clears throat> great ideas have come of us being closed, you know. So do you think, I mean, I'm talking to everybody about this. Do, isn't that kind of what we're learning is innovation comes out of desperation? Absolutely. I mean, some of the ideas, I mean, we started putting the ideas of the Group X classes online before we even heard of anybody else doing it. So not that we were the pioneers of it, but we had them out before even the big name clubs did. You know, and we're still going to be offering some of those. That's still kind of how is it going to work? They don't know and what the process is, but we still will be offering online classes um, even going through this. Again, I don't know all the, all the ins and outs of that, but they will be offered. Thank you so much. This has been awesome. I appreciate your time. <clears throat> yeah. So that wasn't as hard as you thought, was no, it? It wasn't. It was actually kind of fun. She was kind of freaked out. We were. I said it's live, and she goes, "What? No." Do the retakes. It's way better when you don't have a chance to retake it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. No, well, this was great. You. Thank you, everybody. I hope to see everybody soon. All right. Good. Awesome. So again, you guys, that's Elements Health Clubs in Eugene. There's an Oakway Center. There's the West Eugene, former court sports, and there's this one, the Springfield, former court sports. So you're going to be able to come in and do your workout, but it is going to be different. And so you're going to be required to uh, wash your machines before you get on and then when you get off. And you're just going to be required to have a little bit of patience because it's going to be different and a learning curve for every single one of us. So I'm Rick Dancer. Thank you, Elements, for sponsoring all these different shows we've been doing. Um, this is the only one we've done on ourselves. But we thought we should let everybody know what's going on with this. And this is probably what your gym is doing if you go to a different gym um, and having to do the same thing. So, all right, share this on your page. If you're a member here, share it on your page. Let other members know what's going on. All right, I'm Rick Dancer. We will talk with you tomorrow.